Hey guys, Jake Palat here, and I just unboxed, as you saw, a new 2021 Ronix Supreme. As I'm setting up a new board, which is always a good feeling, I decided I'd give you guys a quick rundown on why it is that I like this board so much. So this is mine and Tyler Hyams Pro Model with Ronix. Um, the Supreme debuted in 2020. This here is the 2021 version. Um, so you can see on top here we have a really cool green color. It's a super unique like dark teal. It looks really cool on the water. Um, the color pops insane. On the bottom we have Supreme in big writing with a bright yellowish green background behind it. This background is so bright and so loud. It looks insane in photos. Uh, it's really cool. Adds a lot of personality to the board. Overall, this graphic is super unique, and I'm really excited about how it turned out. So getting into the shape, the Supreme has a hybrid rocker line. So if you know, all wakeboards have a rocker line. Some are three-stage, some are continuous, and some have a hybrid. A three-stage rocker has a flat spot in the middle, giving you straight up and down pop that's generally more aggressive off the wake giving you a bigger kick. A continuous rocker is a continuous arc from tip to tail of the board, giving you sometimes a more predictable, maybe just less straight up and down pop off the wake, uh, and softer landings by displacing water. So the Supreme here is a hybrid rocker line, and you can see that on here. There's a flat spot on the edges, and the belly sticks up a little bit more, which is actually that continuous rocker, giving you the best of both worlds. So, three-stage rocker in the edges allows the board, when it's on edge, if you're going into the wake aggressively, to get a ton of straight up and down pop, and you get the soft landing benefits of the continuous rocker, helping to displace that water when you land, helping the board carry speed, uh, so that landings are as forgiving as possible because nobody likes hard landings. But if you're not as aggressive as, as a rider and you like to come into the wake maybe a little bit flatter, that's all right, the Supreme will work for you too. That's where that continuous rocker will come into play for you. So if the board's a little bit flatter on the way into the wake, you're really riding on the continuous rocker here. So as you hit the wake, it's just going to be a really clean, predictable pop that you'll get and you'll still have those benefits of a continuous rocker on landings as well. Other than that, on the bottom here, we kept it pretty clean. Wanted to keep the shape really loose, playful, fun. Um, so if you want to just do butters and stuff on the wake, it's going to break free for you. There's a little bit of a channel here on the edges, allowing it to break free really easy off the wake. You're not going to get grabbed at all. Um, we wanted to make sure the board was fun for any skill level, whether you're charging, trying to learn a new 900, or going to jump the wake for your first time, or out there just doing butters and sprays. This board's a lot of fun and adapts to your riding level. So in the edges, we have sharp edges all the way around the board, except for through the middle. So right here, we're talking probably 14 or 15 inches we rolled up the edges, which is making it a lot more forgiving. If you're doing butters on the wake, doing surface spins, it's going to stay loose and playful, uh, and you're a lot less likely to catch your edge because of that forgiving rolled up edge through the center. But for our more advanced riders, as we're cutting harder into the wake, we want something that's going to track and hold really well, which is why we left sharp edges everywhere else except for the center. So once that board is on edge, it's gonna hold really true and track really well into the wake, giving you the consistency that you need for whatever it is that you're doing on the water. The last thing with the edges is you'll see we have speed walls in the tip and tail. What the speed walls are, are a 90 degree wall here, allowing the board to get a super clean release off of the wake. It's also making it a lot more durable. If you're going to take it to a cable park or you know, you're know you just moving your board around, you don't have to worry about splitting the edges because these poured urethane speed walls really add a lot of strength to the board. Um, and that's why we put them on there. So 
Last but not least, what sets the Supreme board apart is the core. So we have what's called a sandwich core in here. We're using PVC and wood, and you can actually see both of them in this board. So there's like a pinkish tan that you'll see right here through the edge. That's our PVC core. And then you can see the actual wood that's on top. And then there's another layer of wood on bottom here, sandwiching that PVC in. What that does is gives you the lightweight responsiveness of a PVC core that so many high-end boards have and people love, but gives you added strength. So by sandwiching that PVC in between two layers of wood, you're getting a lot more rigid board that's going to hold up to taking a beating um, and have a long life without getting soft on you at all. So overall, everything we did designing this board was to make it as balanced and user-friendly as a board as possible. We wanted everybody to be able to get out on it, whether it's your first time on a wakeboard or you're dialing in your Pro Tour run, the Supreme board is balanced and will adapt to your riding style. If you have one, that's awesome. Keep hashtagging Ronix Supreme Team on social media. Tyler and I love to see those posts. And if you don't have one yet, I highly recommend going to your local shop, checking it out, and uh, seeing firsthand what the Ronix Supreme is about. This board's a ton of fun, and I hope you love it as much as I do.